to about innovation food. This presentation consists of three sections. First, I will start by talking about the main courses, then I will focus on the dessert, and finally, I will end with the snakes. This presentation will take about 10 minutes. There will be a question and answer session after my presentation. Thus, if you have questions, please leave them until the end of the presentation. So, let me begin this with a question. How many of you have ever tried all Indonesian food? I bet none of you have ever done that because our country has a wide a variety of cuisines. It's said that Indonesia has around 5,350 traditional recipes. Among those cuisines, in this section, I will look at some main courses. As we know, we Indonesians rarely have appetizers before eating the main dishes. We start our meal with the main courses instead of appetizers. Some famous Indonesian main dishes are sate, nasi goreng, and rendang. Sate or sate is a meat skewer that's grilled over hot coals. It is served with a sauce and mono or rice cake. There are numerous variations of sate in Indonesia. Some of them are sate madura, sate padang, sate marangi, and others. Indonesia is even known for having the richest version sate in the world. Next is nasi goreng or fried rice. Just like sate, there are also many variations of nasi goreng in our country. Common nasi goreng uses ketchup or a sweet soy sauce to spice it. Nasi goreng is traditionally a breakfast dish that uses leftover rice from the breakfast day's meal. In 2011, nasi goreng was its number two for its and and world's 50 most delicious food. The last Indonesia curse dish I would like to talk about today is rendang. Rendang is an original dish from Padang, Indonesia. Rendang is a beef that is spritzed in coconut milk and spices for hours. The slow cooking method is the one that makes rendang so tender and rich with spices. Its tenderness and richness in blown tuna to be crowned as the number one dish on the CNN 2011 World 50 Most Elation Food. Okay, now let's move on to the next section, which is about Indonesian dessert. The same as the main courses. Indonesian dessert are also varied. I will focus on two popular desserts, which are Matabak Manis and Chendol. Let's talk about Matabak first. Martabak manis or sweet martabak is a bread like pancake. There are numerous toppings of martabak manis, but the most popular one are ones are sugar, chocolate sprinkles, cheese, and crushed peanut. Martabak manis is served fold and cut to small squares that make the topping getting inside the martabak manis instead of on the top. The second dessert is the chendol. Chendol is made up of green rice flour flour warm like jelly, creamy coconut milk, shelf ice, and palm sugar syrup. We can also add chocolate, durian, red beans, and the additional topping of chendol. Chendol is served best in summer or when the weather is really hot along with snakes. This will lead us to the next section which is about Indonesian snakes. When we're talking about Indonesian food, it isn't complete if we don't mention Indonesian snakes. In this presentation, I would like to talk about, about Indonesia's most popular snake. This is Gorena. I believe most Indonesians have tried Fendor, uh, have tried Gorena. Gorena or Fender is various kind of ingredient better and deep fried. Gorena is commonly sold by straight fenders or a traveling cart. There are a number of types of Gorena, such as banana breeder, bakwan, chiren, cassava breeder, fried tofu and potato breeder and others. So that's all I wanted to say about Indonesian food in conclusion. Not only our country is rich in culture, but also cuisines. In this presentation, I only mentioned a few Indonesian food, but in reality, we have two, uh, we have thousands of kinds of cuisines. Now I'd be pleased to answer the question if you have them. From love, love, love of food, which one do you know best in cooking? Um, I think... Which one? 
maybe from red rice, martabak manis, and can insert candles, filters, and another food meals. Um, do you do you have? Yeah, I like cooking, but uh, this is still. Terima kasih. 